greetings um, students of the BUSN 1315 leadership class. So welcome leaders, welcome to this 2019 spring semester and to our class. This is me, Dr. Joan McGrory, and I will be your instructor for this uh, class. And I wanted to reach out to you this first week and just make sure that you've got a good foundation, that you're ready to start the semester. Um, so I thought I'd go over some things like our schedule, like the syllabus, I just want to make sure you have it. I don't want to read this, you know, you can see it's a long document. Um, it is part of a standardized template and so you'll find, you know, some additional information in there. Um, but just wanted to reach out to you, make sure you had this. And of course, make sure that you're started in Connect. We have some due dates coming up this weekend. So Saturday, actually, you have some assignments due. And I just want to make sure that you are on track for that. So we'll go over this. Um, I do want to start out, if I could, in pause, because this is our course management site. In other words, this is where our class meets online. Um, there's lots of ways to get to this. As an online student, hopefully you are already in there and doing that. Um, some people, uh, just very quickly, if you start out at the Southwest site, there's a pause link. Uh, if you log in to My Southwest, there's a pause icon. Some students, just for convenience and ease, oops, I'm sorry, and if you read the syllabus, I had a bad key there, sorry, you can simply type elearn.southwest.tn.edu, okay? So lots of ways to get to um, our course management. It, it's pulling it up because I've already got it open over here. So lots of ways to get to our course management website. Of course, you would click the link to get into our class. And then I have lots of information uh, here for you. Uh, probably a good idea, notice this is filtered for me, to click on show all announcements because if you do, you will see, for example, a picture of our textbook and what that looks like. Of course, you need the ebook. We'll talk about that. Uh, I'll give you a brief welcome message and, most importantly, uh, some information for our Connect website. So let, let's get started here. Um, again, just a, you know, making sure you have a good foundation. My best recommendation to you is start over here with the content link because a lot of students, once they get into Connect, they never come back to pause and as a consequence, they miss assignments and I don't want that to happen to you because you miss some points when you do that. So when you first come in to the website, you're going to see a link to the syllabus. Now, when you're on the syllabus, you'll have the opportunity to download it if you'd like. I did email it to you. You know, I, I find it easier to view when you have kind of a bigger screen image of it, so that's why I um, have downloaded the, the syllabus. You have the schedule. Again, this is something you may want to download. And let's stop and talk about the schedule for just a moment. If you will keep the schedule in front of you, here it is here. I need this to be out of the way. Well, okay. I need that to be out of the way. It's driving me nuts. Um, okay, so um, the first thing that, that the schedule tells you is that the class never meets in the classroom. I do get questions about that because I do understand that some instructors have you come to campus for tests and things like that. Ours is conducted completely online. We did start January 14th. Hopefully you got the email I sent a few days prior to that as well as the email on the official first day of class. Um, if you joined us a little late, again, this is uh, designed to help you get up to speed because you do have all these materials. Um, as you look, what I've tried to do is tell you what week we're in. We're in week one, and we don't meet, okay? We do not meet in class, but as I explain up here, if you'll pretend that you have an upcoming class meeting, and I just picked Wednesday. If you need to change that for your purposes, do because what you have to do is set a schedule with yourself and say, oh my goodness, I have class this week. Unfortunately, with online classes, out of sight, out of mind sometimes, and that can really um, lead to missed homework and missed um, you know, readings and things like that. So um, if you set a schedule with yourself, it works a little better. Now, I put the due date, some assignments that you have over here on the right, and they are not all in Connect. Up here at the top, notice that you have an attendance quiz. And let me show you what that is. I'm here in Connect. And 
um, I'm currently logged in as the instructor. Let me change that. I am going to log in as a student. You may see this account listed in our class list. This concerns some students, and so I want you to put your mind at rest and understand that it is just a demo, uh, an account specifically for uh, demonstration purposes. So I realize this looks like a whole lot of things going on. Um, don't, don't let that distract you. Okay, so here I am now. I'm looking at things exactly the same way you would, and I'm going into content once again, and we said there's the syllabus, there's the schedule, and there's more information here, but as you come down a little bit, you'll see assessment activities, and my point of going into this from the content is to point out to you that if you just keep following this content in pause, you will have every step along the way and you won't miss anything, okay? That's also the purpose of this schedule, is to put everything that's due in one week just to keep it right there together so that you don't miss anything. If you over-concentrate on Connect, you might miss some things, okay? So use this schedule, this printable schedule, and use this content area. The, as I see in content, these assessment activities, here's an attendance quiz. And if I click on that, I'm going to earn some easy points. Let me tell you how easy this is. You're going to love it. You don't want to miss this. I'm going to start this quiz. And I'm simply asking you to say, yes, I'm here. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, I'm here. I'm attending. It's kind of like taking attendance in class. The faculty at the college have a responsibility of reporting you as attending or not attending. In the online environment, people do that in different ways. This is how I do it, and you get points for it. So I hope that you will take just a moment and click that submit button and get those points. I do give you a couple opportunities to earn points and if you keep focusing on this table of contents you will not miss that. So I've started out table of contents, I went into getting started, I went into assessment activities and I took the first uh, quiz. I'm going to go back to assessment activities because I did that, got a good check mark there, that's good. And I need to make sure I post my class introduction and according to my schedule, I'm going to flip back to that, that's also due by this Saturday. I'm not going to click that link because some students have already gone out there and done their introduction, which is fantastic. Um, so I don't want to show that on the video, but, um, but please do that. It's a great way for you to get to know your fellow classmates. I like to get to know you in this online environment, so please do that. The last step here for this week assignments is to go ahead and create your username into the Connect system. As you have read in the syllabus, and let me flip over to the syllabus, um, you have just got to have Connect. Connect is not free. It is required to successfully complete the course. Um, it includes your ebook. Now, that's great, and some people hear that and they say, well, good, because you know that ebooks uh, oftentimes are a little bit less expensive than the printed book. So all you have to have is the ebook but you have to have the ebook and the assignments and the ability to access the assignments. And notice I have that here. Consequently, rentals will not work, so please do not rent the text um, separately, okay? Because if you do that, you're not going to have the access to the assignments that you need. I repeated that many times throughout the syllabus, and you might be a little tired of me saying that, but it's just a mistake that a lot of students make, and I get it, I understand why, but I want to spare you, you know, that uh, trouble so that you start the, the semester off well, okay? So let's go back over here to um, that, and what you have to do to create your, um, you know, login to connect is you must start at our class website. If you get to a different website, you're going to accidentally do work in some other course, and sometimes students do make that mistake. Also, sometimes students have experience with other publisher software. They might have experience with, for example, the Pearson My Lab products. And Pearson, for example, uses a course code. And the instructor may say to you, create your username, and here's your course code. Connect doesn't work like that. With Connect, 
the course is identified from our class website. So I'm going to uh, come back up here to the top and I want to show you two different uh, things. We're going to create a connect uh, username, so hang with me. If I go back and look at syllabus schedule connect, in here, see there is connect registration. If I click on that, it's going to open a little information page that tells you about the, the course and down here it gives you our course website and I could and if you'd like to you can just click that okay I'm not going to because I'm going to show you a couple different ways but you could click that also on this page what if you run into trouble you could click that what if you really run you know and try to solve the problem yourself with some information pages what if you really run into trouble I need help then call this 1-800 number or I tell you what honestly I like to do I like to um, fill out a form on the website and then they arrange a call with you but it gives them the opportunity to understand what your problem is to pull up your account you know those kinds of things so you may want to use this website the website is also available 24 7 whereas the customer service live support hours are a little a uh, little more limited they still have a lot of great support um, give you an example I was doing a connect uh, you know set up with a couple of my classes and I did run into a problem um, sometimes when you have a bunch of people on the network at the same time and everybody's clicking the same buttons at the same time it kind of overloads the system and as I was setting up an account with my students um, it messed up and the screen you know displayed a big error message and and it wouldn't let me continue further I had another student in the next class had that exact same problem. Um, she was able to just use a different email address, but she could have been in a situation where she needed to call tech support if she had entered an access code or something like that. So um, just know that this information is here, okay? And again, where was that? Table of contents getting started. But let me make it easier for you. I want you to, to know this is here because that's important. If I come right back up here, click that, the course name and do you remember that we had this website right here well this will make it super easy just select it right click on it now I like to use the Chrome browser and if you do when you right click you'll have this link here that says go to that web page and that's what I'm going to do if not you'll always have the copy button and you can just copy and paste that to a new tab so Chrome kind of makes it easy here now, when you're here, confirm that this is leadership class. I have had folks sign up for statistics, I've, you know, business statistics. I've had them sign up for other courses thinking they were in the right spot. So double check, folks. Pe things go wrong sometimes, right? Come down to this um, email. Use whatever email address you want. Uh, I'm going to make one up just so I can show you uh, what this is looks like. And okay, and I'm going to click begin. Now you use whatever email address you want. It can be Southwest. If you have taken the class before and you're repeating it, use a different email address because I want you to have um, the access to the free trial, and you won't have that if it knows that you have um, used the free trial before. You know you've had that opportunity in the uh, before. You have to fill out this page. And so I'm going to do that as quickly as I can. And let's see. Let me put in my password, a password, I should say. Put something. I like to call this either pretender or sample student. You would, of course, put your name in. Oh, it helps me if you use the name that you have on the roster, okay? Because if you... Um, if your real name is Mary Smith, but you've gotten married, you've gotten divorced, whatever your situation is, um, and so now you're Mary Jones, but you don't use the name Mary, so you go by Betty Jones. On my roster, I have Mary Smith, and I don't know that Betty Jones is Mary Smith, so the more you can use the name that's on the roster, it just helps me make sure that your grades are put in there uh, correctly, okay? Um, you can put your mobile number in if you'd like to get notifications. Um, I'm not going to put anything in. Okay, 
Now, sometimes it will, if you are taking, for example, accounting and intro to business and this leadership class and uh, personal finance, then you may want to connect all of those together. I'm gonna tell it not to do that. I'm gonna continue with my new account. And here I am, and it says, okay, um, if I have already purchased an access code from the bookstore, I can type it in there. If I want to purchase access online, you see the cost there and the credit cards as well as PayPal, which I love they're taking PayPal now, or temporary access. Again, if you've taken the course before and you use the same exact email, this will not be available to you. So just use a different email. Click on access now, confirm, Be patient, that's always important. And one quick note here, notice it tells me, okay, your free trial is going to expire on February 1st. So between now and February 1st, I need to pay for access. I'll talk to you about that in a moment, but <clears throat> if for some reason, your financial aid does not come through on time, your paycheck doesn't come through on time, I hope you're not a furloughed worker, um, that would be terrible, you know. Um, but but please don't don't think that all your work is going to be lost. Okay, it's not. Um, it's just uh, it's going to be kind of frozen there until such time as you do pay, and then you'll be able to go back in and continue working on your assignments. Continue that are not expired. You know, if the due date passes now, you know it's all over for that particular assignment. But um, it will let you back in. So I'm going to go to connect. And now I get to see all my assignments. Um, oh, that's new. Post a selfie with your activated connect course on Twitter or Instagram using the hashtag show us your activation hashtag for a chance to win. Well, I'll leave that up to you. That's new. Um, I didn't see that yesterday, so I'll leave that up to you. What I do see is a couple things. Up here at the top, a reminder of when my free trial expires. And this is what I would do if I now need to purchase access. You know, my funds have come through and I'm ready to do that. You can do that. All right, so I see my assignments listed down here. They're in categories. That's very helpful because it, it is a little bit of a schedule. It tells me when the tests are coming. And when I expand this, I will even be able to see uh, due dates and things like that. But what about things like those attendance quizzes and um, I've got SLO practice activities and um, SLO real test and uh, what about the SET and all that kind of stuff those things are not going to be in connect because they're not connect assignments so don't forget the schedule over here don't forget to go back to pause and use that table of contents to follow you know, what's due next? What do I need to be working on this week, okay? In fact, you know, go to pause first, look at the table of contents, make sure you're on track, and then come back out, click the leadership name, and come back and just select this and open up the tab, start doing your connect work. All right, so I see that I have four assignments that I need to do, and um, I'm gonna start with this um, learn smart because learn smarts are a little different than what students typically expect you typically are more familiar with things like quizzes you know what a true false quiz is you know what a multiple choice quiz is we'll talk about the the assessments which I think you will like please do these because you will like them okay but this is in essence your book okay now there are ways and you can see over here if you like the printed book you need to read you can order it right here online they'll mail it to your um, house you get a, a good price on it you know and you can compare if you'd like but um, you know go ahead and order it uh, if, if that's who you are but you have to have the ebook okay you absolutely have to have the ebook with access to the assignments which is why the rental does not work okay all right let's go into learn smart because it's a little bit different it does take just a second to load Now, because Learn Smart is part of a smart book, it's a book, but it's a very, very smart book, and you're going to like it, it's adaptive. And I want to kind of explain what that means and how you earn points, because this is a graded assignment. Okay, 
you're going to see highlighting in the book, but the highlighting will change. It's like a Harry Potter book, okay? It's going to change. It changes based on your mastery of, uh, under, mastery just means understanding of the concepts. So um, if it changes to green, then why would you sit there and read a couple paragraphs of things that are highlighted in green? Because you already know that. Focus on the yellow stuff because that's the stuff that the book is telling you. You need to study this a little bit, all right? You need to make sure you know it. That's part of the reading, but connected in this is the practice, and you earn points from the practice. So I'm going to show you that. I'm going to click on Next. Now, this probably sounds obvious to you, but it will be confusing in just a moment. How do you get out of the Learn Smart? Well, you're going to be in there working and you're going to be looking around and going, um, I've got to go to work, I've got to go to class, how do I get out of this? And so what they're trying to tell you is, look for this three lines and it'll be, what they're trying to show you here is, it'll be in the upper left corner um, over here on the side and that's going to be how you get out, okay? So remember that, that may sound uh, like, you know, obvious, but just remember that. Congratulations, we've done the little tutorial. Congratulations again, we're so great. Let's continue on because we might be gamers. Gaming is one of the top things in this country. You can make a lot of money gaming, right? But within your Connect homework, if you're a gamer, hey, why not game the system here a little bit? Um, you can be anonymous if you'd like. You can make up whatever name that you want. If you know, if you are special superstar, you know, number nine, then or number one, I don't know, um, then you can put that in there and you can compete with everybody around the world who uses Connect and is working in this leadership book so you might have some fun with that if you don't want to do that just hit cancel no biggie but it might be fun to some folks all right already I see some yellow highlighting I haven't started yet so the book is trying to tell me hey here's some things you may want to focus on and if you just simply want to go through and read the chapters hey you're welcome to do that you can click your pages over here and see all the yellow it's like oops I need to be reading that that looks important right so I can click through all these different pages gosh I've got a lot of things I really need to, to master folks I think you're gonna love it quite frankly because this is not like um, I hate to use calculus because calculus people will you know will get upset with me but um, it, it's not it's not problem solving in the sense of you're sitting down with a, a you know math book um, I think these are a lot of aha moments where you read something about leadership and you say, um, okay, that's nice, um, and you say, um, wow, that's, I see this in my job, or that's exactly who that person is, that's who I am, I see that in my relationship to other people, so I think you are going to like this book, I really do, I, I think it's a fun read, I think it's an intriguing read, so take, you know, it does take time though, so, you know, when you're tempted to turn on the television, flip on over, open up your book, all right, so as you go through and read, and I hope you do, um, you're not earning points. This is a graded assignment, so we need to earn some points. And the way that we do that is down in this lower left-hand corner, this icon down here currently says practice. It's a toggle, which means as soon as I click it, it's going to say read. In other words, you can go to practice or read by clicking in this lower left-hand corner. I'm going to click practice. Now, if you are doing this along with the video, you probably um, have a different question than I do because the questions that come up are very randomized. And sometimes they're fill in the blank, sometimes they're multiple choice, sometimes um, it's select all that apply, sometimes it's put things in order, so it just really depends. Um, but there's two parts to it, as you might notice, the question here at the top and the gaming element here at the bottom. So let's look up here. According to the text, which is true of leadership? And it says click the, meaning I would say one answer you think is right. Is it a result of interaction between leaders and followers? It occurs when an individual displays a specific behavior. It occurs as a result of holding a specific position within an organization. It occurs in a specific situation. Hmm, you know, you might be saying to yourself right now, I could see all of these as being right. I can see it as a specific behavior. I can see it as an interaction. I can see it. You might be thinking that. 
maybe you're looking at it right now going, I know exactly what it is. And if so, you would pick it. If you don't know, look at this. Read about this. And I love this. You're going to love this because it takes me to the ebook, not just to the book, not just to the chapter, but to the answer, which is highlighted in yellow. If any single idea is central to this book, it is that leadership is a process, not a position. That rules out one of our choices. The entire first part of the book explores that idea. One is not a leader, except perhaps in name only, merely because one holds a title or position. Leadership involves something happening as a result of the interaction between a leader and followers. Aha! Eureka! Let me go back to the question, which I do by clicking it over here. It occurs as a result of interaction between a leader and followers. I'm going to click that. Now, for the gaming part, if I was guessing, and I said I had no, I could say I have no idea, but I'm pretty confident here. I know it, right? And at this point, I want you to look at the bottom of the screen. It might be cut off here just a little bit. It says I have 29 items left. I know this is the right answer, and I'm going to click it. Yay! I'm right! I'm right! This is so great! I got the answer right! And so when I click OK to advance to the next question, it says that I have 28 items left. So this is, you're saying, okay, yeah, but that's normal because it's a quiz, and you know, okay, I just move on to the next qu question. It's not, a, it's not a quiz. It's about mastery and about getting to the end of the assignment. Because now, I'm not even going to read the question. I'm just going to pick one. I'm going to say I know it. <laughs> this happened in another video. I kept accidentally getting it right. Okay, so I got that one right. I have 28 items left, and when I click OK, it goes down to 27. So I'm going to click, um, I, I'm going to click Adolf Hitler because I'm going to assume he's wrong. And I'm going to say I know it. And dad gum it. Okay, so I keep getting them right. Okay, let's just say false. I know it. Um, dad gum it. I can't believe it. I'm not even reading the question. You've answered all of the questions relevant to the topics you've read about so far. You can continue to practice if you want to, but if you do, you'll get questions about sections you haven't read yet. Ah, so see, she's watching me, and the little read icon is flashing down here because she's saying, I don't think you've read anything, so you might be guessing, and so she's trying to um, get me to, to go back to reading, and, and that's a great prompt, okay, because this is very interactive reading. I'm just going to pick one answer, and I'm sure that there's more, so I'm going to say I know it. Okay, so I missed one, <laughs> finally. I'm, I'm so glad, right, because for this demonstration, I wanted to miss one. And it said prior to me missing that question that I had 25 items remaining, that I had 25 items left. And I got this one wrong. So when I click OK, I still have 25 items left. And it's going to ask me more questions on that topic. Not the same, this is coincidence that this is the same type of questions. It's going to keep asking me questions about that. This is really kind of coincidental that it's asking me um, to keep doing all that apply type questions. Um, but it's not going to count down. Every time I'm missing these, I still have to. It looks like you need to read a little bit more at this point. Yeah. If you agree, please click read and return to the book. So I could click read right now and return because she sees that I'm missing a lot um, and that's a problem. So I'm not going to get to the end of the assignment until I get the remaining 25 um, questions correct and it's going to keep asking me questions on the things that I'm missing um, so that I can learn that. So it is an interactive way of reading. Instead of just sitting there and, and I'm going to click read to go back to reading and instead, have, have you ever done this? Have, have your eyes ever touched every word on the page? You're reading, you're reading, you're reading and someone says to you, what did you just read? And you're like, um, I mean I read it um, I don't know what it says, right? That's the purpose of the practice. You can read a little bit, then practice a little bit. I go back to practice. When you start to run into trouble, you don't know it, go read about it, you know, using this button here to go directly to the answer, or come down here to the book. 
you know, and maybe take a moment, just read a page or two or three, I don't know, and then, and then go back and answer some more questions, okay? The way that you earn points for this assignment is you get to the end of all the questions, and that's very important. You need to complete the assignment. Now, remember I told you, how do you get out of this? These three lines up here. So let's click that, and, down, and you can explore all these things, but down at the bottom, leave the smart book. Now, I can go in and out of this smart book as many times as I want up until the due date. Now, I have caution, caution, caution. I need some big red lights to flash at this point. Because this is your book, and because, oops, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to click that, and because it is a study tool, those questions are study tools, um, cancel. Because of that, I'm gonna leave, you will always have access to the assignment, but you will not earn points. You will not earn points for any work completed after this due date and time. Let me explain. If on January 22nd, which is just a couple days away, if you start the assignment at 1150 and you're doing great and you're answering those questions, and the next thing you know, it's 1156, and you think, well, that's okay, I'm still in the assignment and working because I started it before the due date and time. Nope, you are no longer earning points. You're answering questions, but you are not earning points. So you have to complete the assignment before the due date and time, okay? Really, really need to emphasize that. You have to complete the assignment, the Learn Smart, before the due date and time. Okay, moving along to these three other assignments. I want you to look in the syllabus at the personal assessments. Personal assessment is critical to leadership. How can you lead others if you do not know yourself? What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What are your hot buttons that cause you to overreact? Um, maybe you have some sympathetic buttons that cause you to be um, over sympathetic and not pay attention to other important details. Um, these are just things that as we build awareness, we become better leaders. And that's what personal assessment is about. That being said, how can I grade you on that? I can't say, um, pick your leadership style. No, that's wrong. <laughs> that would not work. So I give you points if you simply complete the assignment, okay? So I do want you to go in here, and I hope that you will do this, folks, and take it seriously because this is about you. This is about you learning about you, building your strengths up, you know, understanding um, some things that might be weaknesses, and sometimes we can strengthen those up a little bit. It does take time for these pages to load, and you know, it's a little bit of reading here, and then you're just saying, and this is for you personally, I can separate, and, and all the personal assessments, of course, are slightly different, but separate my personal life from my work in school. Um, are you honest with yourself? Do you communicate clearly? So all these different types of, you know, th this is just one, all the assessments are not like this. Some of them are, are very different. So just be aware of that. I'm just gonna hit submit. And I'm going to give you points for doing that um, because it's just it's just important that you do. Okay, and they're really in this case there's no such thing as as correct answers. Over here, return to the assignment list. Now I, I won't necessarily well let's let's do um, I, I think you understand true false quiz multiple choice quiz will do true false. Um, there's just uh, one thing that I want you to know about this, which is you have unlimited attempts until the due date. And I'm just going to go through, this is how you advance to the next questions. I don't know, I'm just uh, making some stuff up here. I am not reading the questions, as you can see. And you would go through all of that and then you would click submit. Notice there's a timer there. Okay, I'm gonna submit anyway. And this is what I want you to see. If I get it right, it shows me my answer, shows me the green check mark. Goodness, I'm getting some things right. I got that one right. Goodness, I'm getting some things right. Goodness, I, goodness. Ah, 
I did not answer this one. So first of all, it tells me I got it wrong. That's the red X, but it is telling me what the correct answer is. So this is a great study to tool. The true false is a great study tool and the multiple choice is a great study tool. So I'm going to go into multiple choice in just a moment, but I want you to see something. The Learn Smart is your book and it's interactive, so this is a great study tool. As you continue with these unlimited attempts until the due date, I only record your highest score, you can go back and look at all your attempts and you'll want to do that because, for example, the test is going to pull questions from these true, false, multiple choice, and really I think a lot of the multiple choice um, pool of questions, okay? In fact, I think I pulled from both true, false, and multiple choice. So the more exposure you have to the homework, the more times you're going in there and practicing, and I'm, I'm not gonna answer these questions, um, this is exactly what your test is going to be like. You know, so I don't know if I got this right or wrong. There's no immediate feedback like there is in the Learn Smart. I just know that I'm doing my best to answer these questions. When I finish, I click Submit. You can use your book, you know, absolutely, and try to look up these answers. And okay, so I missed this one. This is what I answered and it was wrong. And this was the correct answer. Now, you do not want to memorize that question one, the answer is B, because the questions will be, um, you know, uh, drawn from a pool, they'll be different every time, and the answers will be randomized. So if you want to instead say, oh, whenever I see this question, you know, this is something I need to know, that would be the better way to do the assignment. So again, I, I just did that multiple choice quiz, and hopefully I got a great score. If not, I can go back in. I can do that again. You're going to see I'm going to get different um, questions, so I, I'm going to do B and just assume, okay, I bet that's the exact same answer. I can't even remember what the other ones were, but I'm going to submit that. Okay, it goes through. It tells me, see, it wasn't B. It was a different question and all this, so I can go back, and if I click on Chapter 1, now see, if I go in and see report, notice it's telling me that what I'm looking at is my very first attempt. If I said, well, I knew I didn't do well on that one, I want to view my second attempt, I can do that. So these are great study tools. All right, I can print them, you know, great study tools. Okay, I, let's see, I need to go back to my course homepage, which is what this is up here and you know, keep working through my assignments. But again, don't hyper obsess on Connect. Make sure that you are coming in to pause, check it every day, only takes you a minute or two, see what's going on, because I, I might find when I get down here to chapter one that I have another attendance quiz, an opportunity to earn some points, and this is just gonna remind me of what I have to do. I might see when I get into chapter two, there's no attendance quizzes, so I might be doing okay there. When I get to the test, that category, I'm gonna see that there are instructions that I can print to make sure I have what I need, okay? So, you know, keep an eye on that, that kind of thing, and, you know, here I have schedule check. Well, at any time, just go to your printed schedule and make sure and look at this, yeah, I try to put notes in here and work ahead because you're going to have spring break and you don't want to be working on your homework over spring break, so get it done early. Get it done early, okay, but you'll have to plan ahead for that. So, you know, keep an eye on, on all this kind of stuff. I hope this information um, helps. I'm sorry my videos run a little long and I do see that. I apologize, but I hope it was helpful. Um, I'll be reaching out to you again soon, but um, I hope you enjoy this class, folks. Leadership is just... Um, such a great uh, skill to have. Uh, it's something people are not, they are not born leaders. It's something that we all have to develop. We all work on it throughout our lives. And um, I think you'll enjoy the course. And I hope you do. I know I do. It's one of my passions. So thank you. And we'll talk to you soon.